library assistant with the Long Beach Public Library and today I'm going to read you stories about worms. Yay! But first, if you haven't already signed up for our summer reading program, please visit longbeach.beanstack.org to er start earning prizes for all of the reading that you're doing this summer. And if you're already signed up, don't forget your, to log in and use the code GARDEN to earn your points for participating in our activity today. Sound good? All right. With that said, are you ready to learn about worms? Great. If you're ready to learn about worms, wiggle your body like a worm. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, and now reach up, touch your head, touch your shoulders. Put your knees, put your toes. Give yourself a little hug and pat your lap. Great, now that we are focused, our last step is to turn on our listening ears. All right, okay, so now we're ready to read our first book. This book is called We Dig Worms, a tune book by Kevin McCloskey read to you with permission from Toon Books. Thank you very much. We dig worms. There are many different worms. Tree worms, sea worms, river worms. And gummy worms. The worms in parks and gardens are called earthworms. Hello, little worm. Worms feel light through their skin. They have no eyes and no nose. Wow. Worms do a lot of important work. I said, hello, little worm. Uh oh. I eat dead leaves and bugs. Did you know that? My tunnels bring air and water to the soil to help plants grow. They do. Check them out. When worms dig, twisting and turning, they make the earth earthier. My poop is good for the soil. Ew! Worm poop is called castings. It's very, very, very beneficial for the soil. Worms are cool. Maybe to you, worms feel cool. They have cold blood. Okay, now this is a map of worms. A map of the worms. Okay, on the outside, Worms are this long. Here's the head, here's their rear. They don't have any lungs, so they breathe through their skin. Only grown-ups have this part. It's called the cetelium, cetellum. And they have five pairs of hearts. Here's their tiny little brain and their mouth. These are the blood vessels. Oh, and they have two kinds of stomachs, the gizzard and the crop. And worms have no bones. They only have muscles. Mr. Worm, why do you come out after the rain? It's easier to wriggle when it's wet. Worms move and breathe better when it's wet. Excuse me, Mr. Worm, do you have a big family? Oh yes, one worm can have a hundred babies. Wow, that's a lot of babies. How many worms live here? They're at the park. 
How many worms live at the park? Hmm. Millions, 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 millions. Over one million worms can live in a small park. This bird is saying yum, yum. How big is the biggest worm in the world? Yum, yum. The Australian Gippsland worm grows to 10 feet long. Wow, as tall as an elephant. Ooh, it's very tall. Hey, little worm, I'm hungry. Wanna have lunch with me? Uh, why did the little worm go away? Was it something Bluebird said? I think so. Look, he stuck his beak in his hole. I want to meet you for lunch, worm. Sorry, Bluebird. I have important work to do. There he goes, tunneling the earth. Wow. Look at all these worm tunnels. And flowers up, ahead, up above. Ooh, that's what the worm was busy doing making the earth earthier for this beautiful flower bed. Wow. And the bird says, maybe tomorrow? Thank you, worms. The end. All right, so for our next story, we need our little hands. So you all at home can participate in this. You just need your little hands, 10 little fingers, two little hands, okay? Once upon a time, there were two little worms, Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. They were best friends and they were neighbors and they lived in identical houses. So to go outside their homes, they would open the door, step outside and close the door behind them. Open the door, step outside and close the door behind them. Just like that. One day, Mr. Wiggle decided that he was going to go visit Mr. Waggle. So he opened the door, stepped outside, and closed the door behind him. And then he went up the hill and down the hill, and 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 up the hill, until he got to his front door, where he went, Oh, Mr. Waggle, are you home? Well, Mr. Waggle didn't answer because he was taking a nap. So Mr. Wiggle went back up the hill and down the hill and 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 up the hill and down the hill until he made it all the way home where he opened the door, went inside, and closed the door behind him. Well, when Mr. Waggle woke up from his nap, he was missing his best friend, so he said to himself, I'm going to go visit Mr. Wiggle. So he opened the door, went outside, and closed the door behind him. And then he went up the hill and down the hill, and 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 down the hill <sighs> until he made it to Mr. Wiggle's front door, where he knocked on the door and said, Oh, Mr. Wiggle! Are you home? But Mr. Wiggle had fallen asleep after his trek over to Mr. Waggle's house, so he didn't hear him. So then he turned around and went up the hill and down the hill and 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 up the hill and down the hill until he made it all the way home where he opened the door, stepped inside, and closed the door behind him. So later on that evening, they both thought to, at the same time, hey, I'm gonna see if Mr., if my best friend is awake yet. So at the same time, they opened their doors, stepped outside, and closed the door, be the door behind them. And they went up the hill and down the hill, and 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 the hill, and down the hill. <gasps> until they met in the middle. Mr. Waggle! Oh, Mr. Wiggle! Oh! They were so excited to finally see each other. They rolled down the hill and ran back up. And then they rolled down the hill again. And they went 
round back up. And they did that, whoo, down and up for a while until they got tired. And then they just sat down and talked about their day and about their week and about their month because they hadn't seen each other for a while. And then when they got tired of that, they gave each other hugs. And then they went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until they got to their homes where they went, opened the door, went inside and closed the door behind them. And you know what? The next time they wanted to see each other, they, guess what they did? They just sent each other a text message. The end. Well, friends, I've truly dug our time together today, and we just have one more song, and it's our goodbye song, and it goes like this. You know the song, the more we get together, well, we're going to change it to the more we read together, the happier we'll be, okay? So here we go. One, two, three. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Okay, we'll see you later, friends. Thanks for stopping by. Hasta luego.